Today we hosted the inaugural Diversity and Inclusion Summit, the first of its kind in Northern Ireland. The whole point of the summit today was to get our members together and business leaders and HR professionals to examine the crucial issue of diversity going beyond a tick box exercise. Really what we were looking at was how to create truly inclusive workplaces, reflective of our society. As senior leaders, we need to be authentic, we need to be genuine. Our people are not slow to spot superficiality. I am determined to use that influence positively and to be exemplary in our determination to create a truly inclusive culture in the civil service. It can't just be a tick box. It can't just be mentioning it once now and then. It has to be turning up. It has to be walking the walk. And it has to be trying to make sure that these measures are integrated. We have to recognise these as structural issues that need to be embedded in all that we do as a company or an organisation if we're going to see real change. So the starting point in moving towards an inclusive culture needs to be, do you really understand what the challenges are in your organisation? Do you have the data? Don't make assumptions. Be clear on what your data tells you and act accordingly. If you're going to be a leader in a big business, you've got to be futuristic. You've got to think about, you know, are we doing enough on plastic? Are we doing enough on climate change? Are we putting enough back into our communities? Are we a diverse, open culture that brings the right talent? I thought today was fantastic. So many uh, speakers which uh, really got us all thinking. Uh, some very provocative and thought-provoking uh, comments today. So I think everybody's taken a lot away from today. Uh, I suppose the key message for me was uh, that we can't be complacent. The importance of the event is it's not just gender diversity. It's into LGBTQ, it is into uh, ethnicity, right across the board. My biggest takeaway from today is that it is not a done thing. Lead from the top, be engaged, be active. We're not done yet. So at the start of last year we had 20 members and I'm really proud to stand here today to say just over a year later that we've got 70 business leaders who have now pledged to go on a journey to deliver diversity and inclusion for their organisations. The future generation will look for an organisation to work for that have these values, that, are, that value diversity and that have inclusive cultures. So it's really something that organisations can't afford not to do you now and moving into the coming years. The Diversity Charter Mark um, is absolutely fantastic. It really helps organisations um, underpin their progress and I would encourage any organisation thinking about it to absolutely join and it's great to have a, a network of organisations that we can learn from and support each other. Mm -hmm.